Okay, we have another directed line segment. Here we are looking for the other endpoint. It says, what are the coordinate points of B? So I want to find B, which would be X sub 2, Y sub 2. The line is going from A to B. A is X sub 1, Y sub 1. Um, and my partition point here, 2, 3. This would be X sub P and Y sub P, which we're going to use here for my partition X and here for my partition Y. So my partition point X is X sub P, which is 2. I got that from right here. Equals X sub 1, which is negative 1 right there. Negative 1 plus my ratio. My ratio is 1 to 2. 1 being my A, 2 being my B. So I have A, got to use the numbers here. Um, I have 1 over 1 plus 2, parenthesis, um, y, X sub 2, which is what I don't have, I'm looking for, minus X sub 1, which is a negative 1. All right, so all of my X's are set up. I'm just going to go ahead and solve with my X's, then I'll come back and solve with my Y's. Um, cleaning up here just a little bit, I can go ahead and get rid of this negative 1, so I'm going to add it to the other side, and that'll make things look a little neater. I have 3 equals, I'm going to go ahead and simplify this fraction here. This will be 1 third. It is still going to be multiplying to X minus a negative, of course, is a plus. When you multiply a negative times a negative, it is a positive. Okay, now I need to distribute my fraction. It gives me one third X plus one third equals three. Continue solving for X. I need to subtract the one-third from both sides. Um, it is difficult to subtract three minus a third, so I need to write three, or three over one, as a third. So I'm going to multiply three over one by three over three, and that will give me nine-thirds. Because 9 over 3 is equivalent to 3 minus 1 third that I brought over from the other side equals 1 third x. So if you'll let me extend my page here, 9 minus 1 is 8. I have 8 thirds equals 1 third x. To solve for x, x is being multiplied by a fraction. I like to divide it. When we divide by a fraction, we multiply by the reciprocal. So I multiply both sides by 3 over 1. The 3's cancel out. It leaves me x over here. And on this side, I have 24 over 3, which simplifies to 8. So I know that I have 8 comma something for my coordinate point. So X equals 8. And remember my answer is going to be a coordinate point. Let's scroll back up. Set up my Y's. Setting up my Y's, I got Y sub P, which is 3. I'm getting that from right there. 3 equals y sub 1, y sub 1 is negative 9, I'm getting that from right there, negative 9, uh, plus the ratio, I already know that the ratio is 1 third, so I'm going to use that, 1 over 3, I know that I'm looking for y sub 2 minus y sub 1, which again is the negative 9. Use parenthesis to protect my negative. 
And then I need to clean this up a little bit. As I start cleaning this up, I'm going to add this 9 over. That gives me 12 equals 1 third times y plus 9. Because again, minus a negative becomes a plus. I need to uh, distribute the fraction into the parenthesis. It gives me 1 third y plus 9 over 3. 9 over 3 simplifies to just 3. Be nice to get away from fractions for a moment. Equals 12. As I'm solving for y here, I need to subtract 3 both sides. Twelve minus three is nine equals one third y. Uh, then I'm going to isolate the y. I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal three over one. The threes cancel. It leaves me with a y, which is what I want. What I do to one side, I do to the other. 3 over 1 times 9 is 27 equals my y. So my point, my other end point, is 8, 27 or point B, the other end point. Guys, I hope this helps. Um, I searched all over the internet to try to find exactly what I was looking for here and just had to do this myself. So, there you go.